was more to Barney Springboro than his mind. There was more to Peyton Nichols than what met the eye. Smile! And on that day when Barney got the power, it was Peyton who knew exactly what to do with it. I can make things fly around. I can move things. He guided Barney. I got it all figured out. You do your thing. We'll make a fortune. And he advised him in the fine art of dealing with parents. In the mysterious ways of women. Wow. And in the unpredictable laws of chance. You're a winner. Together, they used the power and took the world for a ride. <laughs> and found their way into the hearts of every woman. I don't want you to do anything you don't want to. You don't? No. I have way too much respect for you, Jane. You do? But Peyton never warned Barney about one thing. Falling in love. Get off this summer with Zap. Starring Scott Baio, Willie Ames, Albert Einstein, Scatman Crothers, his over-persuasive wife. You ugly spasm. An outrageous pair. An incredible pair. One spaced out Vulcan, one spaced out dummy. A team of professional exorcists and a half-naked cast of thousands. <laughs> All come together in Zap, a movie that's out of this world and out of its mind. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Video Rangers podcast. I'm Mike Spinaco. Sitting beside me is Chris Dietz. Say hello, Chris. Hello, everyone. This is uh, this is the Video Rangers podcast, as I usually say. And you just heard. <laughs> I repeat it every fucking week. Um, <laughs> today's movie of the week. We'll just jump right in. Zapped. Zapped. 1982. Scott Baio in uh, Willie Ames' vehicle. Yep. Supposed uh, to propel them. Propel them. Well, you got the Willie, Willie Ames coming off of uh, just the ten of us. He's in. I think he was in just think, the ten yeah. of us. And, uh, Scott Bayo was uh, Joni and Joni loves Chachi. All that in happy days. Yeah, but really, Joni loves Chachi. Joni loves Chachi. Such a more memorable title. <laughs> I think ch- Chachi in like Korea means pee pee. Does it really? <laughs> so so Joni loves pee pee. <laughs> That makes sense. Uh, so, what, what does he do in this movie? Um. Oh wait, he's not in just the ten of us. Oh wait, it's eight just is enough. Of us. Eight is enough. I'm getting my TV shows confused. <laughs> just the ten of us is with um. The coach from the Growing coach Pains. from Growing Pains. Excuse me. Eight is enough. It's eight is enough, but it's like the same fucking show. Just the ten of us, I'd imagine, right? I don't remember. Well, Justin, I, I remember just the ten of us. I don't remember. Yeah, eight is enough. I knew it wasn't just the ten of us. I'm like, wait a second. I've, okay. Anyway, uh, so what the hell were we? <laughs> what What's the movie about? Oh, zapped. Um, th- according to IMDb, uh, a high school science nerd gains a telekinetic powers after a laboratory accident and uses them for revenge on bullies. Which is kind of what it, happens. Th- those things happen, but it's not like the yeah. plot. That's like in the movie. You're going to see that. That's not exactly mm-hmm. a very good description of what the overall... What, what, no, it's not. ...movie um, is about. It's more of science kid gets telekinetic powers and... Uses you know, them at will. For, take, good, for good and bad. Yeah. Takes no, all nothing people's. evil. But no, uh, just strips people. Good old, you know, like old fashioned eighties fun, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know. Yeah, which is like you know, take their clothes sexual off. Sexual harassment, pretty much. Sexual assault. Yeah. <laughs> Use. I got my telekinetic powers for sexual assault. Yeah. I'll just rip her shirt off. No problem. Naked women, completely naked women in the prom, running around gymnasiums in front of. Uh, and I, I, I haven't seen this movie uncut in a very long time. Isn't it delightful? It's great. It's just it's fucking great. We'll get to the ending scene later, and I'll, we'll have I'll have my uh, we'll talk about that. I don't want to jump too far ahead. We'll start from the beginning. There's a Carrie-esque scene. Oh, 
the tease. I'm sure most oh, yeah. most people listening to this have seen the movie, but uh, you might have forgotten how how graphic it is. Uh, yeah, it's pretty and not uh, grotesque, but uh, beautiful ladies. Yes, pretty girls. Heather Thomas. Heather Thomas. Upcoming. Who is not naked in this movie? No, that is not her. Um, and any of the three naked scenes she has no. is not her. The sh- unfortunately, yeah. you'd see in her undies though. She's beautiful. You do see in her undies. Yeah. Um. So zapped. Uh, starts out Scat with Man Crothers. Well, oh, I love I love Scatman. I want to hang out with Scatman Crothers. Who doesn't want to hang out with? Scat he Man looks Crothers. like a good fucking. So many time. questions I have for him. Like what? Like how did he how did he feel about getting you know getting all the way to the hotel in the Shining and only get axed immediately like immediately as soon as he's I like, gotta save that little boy yeah. I gotta save Doc that guy like didn't he have to like get on a plane or something to fucking... he was like all the way in Florida or something I don't even know he's, yeah he's like ah oh, I gotta save that boy his damn his damn father's gone crazy <laughs> he I gotta get... save that boy he gets there and all boom. the way there. Axe to the chest. Immediately. Out of the movie. Yeah. <laughs> a little late on the spoiler Is he? Alert. Is that character in the book? I don't know. I didn't remember okay. the book. Probably not. No. Never read that thing. Movie's better. Probably. For I me. Saw the, for did me. you ever see the adaptation? You know, we, we, got a, we got a pool and a pond. Pond be good for you. Okay. Yeah. Did you ever <laughs> see the... the there was... Uh, ABC had a... Um, a more authentic adaptation of the book. Oh, I've seen that. The two part series. It was a series the, the, on the ABC. mini thing. Yeah, it's bad. I've seen it's it. Not enjoyable. No, I didn't like that half as the, much. The guy from Wings is in it. Yeah. Um. Anyway, yeah. back to Zap. <laughs> um. So, yeah, it opens up with um, Barney you know, Spring Spring something. Let's call him Barney. It's just Scott Bayo. Well, he's doing experiments yeah. in his lab with no two teacher supervision. No. It's the 80s. You can do yeah. anything. Yeah, he's you in a lab. You can do anything. You can say anything pretty in these movies. He's working on lab rats with a bottle of Jack Daniels on school premises. Well, they're, that's in the room, yeah. It's it's hidden somewhat. Yeah. Uh, he's doing... I don't even know what he's doing to the rats. He's giving them something... Oh. Uh, basically, he's what he's doing. Pot extract, no, cannabis no, extract. No, he's, not yet. He's giving. No, he them, did because he got him high at one point. Remember that's li- that's later. But the opening scene, okay. he's he's feeding he's feeding the uh, mice uh, Jack Daniels through a test tube, and mm-hmm. he's like, "Oh, the rock stars love this." Oh yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. And then uh, basically, what he's doing because Buddy Lembeck comes in. We're just gonna call Williams Buddy. Yep, he's Buddy his Lembeck. Name is Peyton. Yeah, his name's Peyton in the movie. We're just calling him Buddy. But to me, he's he'll Buddy always Lundbeck. be Buddy Lembeck. To me. Yeah. <laughs> um. So he comes rolling in, and uh, he he asks him what he's doing, and he tells him like that the diving or the swim team wanted him to test the alcohol effects on underwater diving. Yeah. Oh yeah. They got a little puppet mouse yeah. in the dive suit. Yeah. That was pretty. Yeah. Funny. They're in the dive suit. It's yeah. cute. It's kind of funny. Um, and so uh, buddy, that. buddy's got like a reason to be there. Okay, he comes in. Yep, he's checking on the plants. Yes. Oh, yeah. He he's he's also growing plants for the principal to impress yes. his wife. And behind those Orchids plants for the wife. are large marijuana plants. Yep. And it's 1982, so it's basically heroin. Yeah. To adults, apparently growing <laughs> like two inches a it day. Might as well be. Shit. But they're very large marijuana plants. Yes. You see briefly, because really, Barney is uh, a botanist. Yes, he's a botanist. Yeah. Uh, he's doing all these experiments. Yep. And his friend really Buddy smart guy. wants to fucking just make some money. I gotta hand it to you, Barn. Super dope, grown in super time, means a super buzz. And a lot of bucks for us. Uh, whatever. He takes advantage of him. Yeah, he's like, you grow us this pot, man. We'll fucking sell some. You know what he say? Cash. Super high means a super buzz, whatever. Something like that. He said something along yeah. those lines. Super fast, super Yeah, something like that. And okay, so he Scatman Crothers comes in at some point. Oh yeah, <clears throat> and he's they're friends. Uh, uh, Scott Bayo is the statistician on the baseball team, or yeah. Barney, um, who who was was promised that he was going to bat in the last game. Yes, uh, Scatman Crothers comes in. His name's Does that happen Dexter. first? 
Oh, no, no, no. Because actually, after that, don't they go to, like, the auditorium for a fucking a, a, uh, seminar? Or I thought they were just in the laboratory yeah, the first Remember, because he, he comes in and he gets them, and they go to the fucking... Um, well, there's an important scene when he comes in because he grabs a bottle of Jack Daniels for a sip. Yeah. And he knocks... He has uh, cannabis extract in a in a beaker or something. Yeah. And he knocks some kind of plant growth into that. Yeah. While grabbing the the while grabbing the um, the the whiskey, then Buddy at a later time pours a little bit of beer, and this becomes the formula for yeah. the zapped uh, powers or whatever you mm. want to call them. So I thought I'd just mention that part. They go to an auditorium. Yeah, because right after the opening, like when oh, he comes in, the cheerleaders. And, yeah, they do the cheerleader thing, and then the scene right after that is when uh, Scatman Carthus comes in and fucking starts talking about, I can't live without no salami. <laughs> My old lady won't let me eat salami no more. Says it causes cancer. Maybe you ought to drop this petunia shit and figure out a cure for that sucker. Because I can't live in this world without salami. No winnies either. I love every line Scatman Carlos oh, yeah. says. He's he's just great. Yes. <laughs> it's gold. Everything that comes yep. out of his mouth is gold. That's why, like, it's just, it's, it's a damn shame he didn't make it off that mountain. <laughs> love me for Scatman Crothers. He's got very large nostrils. I want to see. a quarter up his nose. I want to see a I'm movie. sure everyone's noticed that. Yeah, yeah. I love me some Scatman Crothers. Yeah. Though. I'd love to see a buddy cop movie starring Scatman Crothers. Buddy cop movie. Dan Haggerty. Dan Haggerty. <laughs> right? How sick would that be? Scatman Crothers smokes a cigar, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the whole time. I just want because two, the company can't be paying for cigarettes anymore. He goes through like a pack a day, a carton a day. He smokes two cigarettes at a time. Yes. <laughs> Both just two at a time. Exactly. Tie, like little tied together almost. <laughs> Dan Haggerty. I bet he's done that. Fucking shit. I bet he's taken a whole pack out, rolled up some string around it, and Dan lit the whole Hag- fucking thing Dan Haggerty thing up. sounds like a wrestling name. Yes, he'd be he like, does. He'd be like Dan the Chimney yeah. Haggerty. <laughs> yeah. He was originally supposed to fight uh, Andre the Giant. He kind of looks like Big John Stud. <laughs> Maybe he's like his like distant cousin. <laughs> All right, back to Zapped. Yeah. Fortunately, has no Dan Haggerty. It does not. Um. So they're promoting the baseball team. Yeah, they're, they're playing the rivals, and even though the baseball team hasn't won a game. Yeah, all year. All year. I guess this is like the last game. Uh, they're having a little. Uh, what's it called? Um. You know, pep rally. Pep rally. And the school president is Bernadette. Yep. Which is uh, Class president. one of the love. There's two love interests. There's one Bernadette. She's the other love interest. Yeah. Uh, she introduces the principal and, and the cheerleaders and stuff. Yeah, that's great. You know, normal movie stuff. Yeah, you get to see the overview of the high school and Barney's like checking out some girl's thighs. Yes. He's Barney's horny. He yeah. is. She's checking out some girl, some random girl. Not even. It looks kind of like Heather Thomas, but it's not. And then you've. That's like pretty much. That's all they do. It's like they basically inter- say, "Yeah, it's the last." The well, cheerleaders then, are talking about the fucking last baseball game. Yes. So I, yeah, it's, it's not really important. Yeah. Um, and then they go to this back scene. to the lab, and he gives the mouse the new formula that just got mixed up. Yeah. And by the accident. mouse now has. Powers, yeah, and it uh, like takes the cheese. It's in the cage. It, it you know, telekinetic telekinetic powers and gravitates the cheese to it. And you can see the string. Yeah, you can see the is... string a lot in this movie. Yep, I don't care. I, no. I understand. It's, no, more <laughs> it's, string. It's fun movie. I like more. It's string. a fun movie. Um, so there's an accident in the lab. Oh, uh, well, because he tries to continue to... Because he ate the cheese. Oh, yes. Because yes, the mouse he, ate the cheese, he had to give him a double dose to counteract yes, the food. Yes, counteract the food. Okay, um, correct. And then the uh, the mouse got... Uh, that's when the mouse got his powers and like kind of moved his arm back. Yeah, he's fighting... He knocked over the formula. He's fighting him, giving him more stuff. The formula fucking explodes, and he gets powers. Yeah. Well, at first, he doesn't Big realize it yet. explodes. Yep. It's like uh, 
the Incredible Shrinking Man. Dust hits him in three weeks. He's dead. But, yeah, so he goes home to his in, insane parents who, even though this guy's a botanist, this guy's probably getting a full ride, is probably going to be making incredible plants by the time he's 21. Uh, his parents are... Smart scientists. They don't like his attitude. They don't like his I don't long like hours. this laboratory yeah. foolishness. Yeah, this laboratory nonsense. Like, what? Exactly, yeah. <laughs> you you yeah. don't go out with girls. Yeah. You don't do anything. Trying to fucking achieve my goals, mom. <laughs> Jesus she's, Christ. She's like crazy. Annoying. Terrible cook, apparently. Yeah, it, was, it did look... Stuffed peppers look gross. Yes, they did. Whatever she was making. Didn't look good. So Barney, like, you know, he's he just disheveled. wants to go to sleep. He's yeah, because he's just tired. Got, was in the middle like, of an uh, explosion. It's kind of like Spider Man, yeah. where he just kind of wants to conk out. It's a lab after accident. He gets bit by the spider. Yeah. So he, his parents come upstairs, and they just they were apparently just at a drug seminar at the high school. Yeah. So they know all. Yeah, the they know all about the ins and outs they of heroin. Think he might be on drugs. They're checking yeah. his arms. In between, they want to check in between his toes. Yeah. Like, okay. Dad said it wasn't necessary. <laughs> Barney. Your mother and I are very concerned. It's your attitude. Not to mention your late hours and loss of appetite. Son, roll up your sleeves. Should we check between his toes? What's going on? Your father and I went to a drug education seminar at the school. Are you a junkie, son? Right, Dad. Don't talk to your father like that. What's the matter, Barney? Nothing's the matter. All right. We'll discuss it further in the morning. The father's a secret alcoholic. Yes. And the wife is just like, you know, one of those real, like... Busy body. You're a busy body. Exactly. And the dad's just like, all right, whatever, man. Let's talk about this tomorrow. He doesn't care. He just kind of, whatever. Married to this fucking woman. Yep. (laughs) Hate my life. Uh, he, well, he his mom gets fed up with her yeah. attitude, and he she slams the door out. with his powers. It's the first time he uses them. Yeah, and she gets she gets mad at that. So she comes to, how dare you like do that? Like, oh, I didn't do it. The dog did. Yeah. It. Like, oh, you lie to me. And he does. He send the attack puppet on her. Um, at no, that no, point? no. That like, later, um. Slams the door. He blames it on the dog. Uh, she says something about the dummy. Like, oh, yeah, I bet the dummy trained him to do that. And then she fucking walks out. And um, he, like, I think that's right around the time he starts playing with the, uh, so when the Star Trek thing happens. I thought he did it later when he came yeah. back later. Oh, well, he, he just goes to bed after puppet. that, I think. After, yeah, he yeah. does. They come back yeah, later. Because like right scenario, after that, man. he goes to school. He goes to morning. sleep and then bang, it's more it's school again and he's yeah. in class. And he's and like still disoriented. A, and they're doing a poetry reading and uh he starts fantasizing about Heather Thomas from across oh, yeah. the room. Well, you know, I, and um I forgive him. I don't know about you. He's uh someone reads a poem and then the teacher asks him asks Barney what he thinks of it and he's like, Oh, he starts I guess he you know, he's got a he's got a boner. So he's hiding it with his jacket, even though he's sitting down under his desk. Are you hiding something, Barney? Yeah, she's like, so he opens up the maps, and oh, they'll all come out, you know, distraction. No one's thinking about Barney anymore. He'd be very humiliated, you know, be very, very embarrassed if yeah. uh, people know he had a boner yeah, in class. Because he had a, a tight pair of corduroys on. Well, it is 1982. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Some converse. Uh, so that happens. Um, he gets out of it. Well, because he opens up the map thing. Yeah, he opens the yeah. map, maps fall out. No, yeah. Everyone's just laughing at that. For them. you youngsters, we used to have maps behind the uh, the chalkboard. Yeah, they used to roll down. Yeah. And lots they, of maps. And they lots had of different maps. Wooden bottoms, and they didn't fucking pull back up themselves. You had to roll them up. That's it. So it was a task. It was. Just like dialing a phone used to be a task on the old on the rotary. rotary. <laughs> you know? So it's pain in the ass. Bringing it back. I'm so lazy. I don't want to even call you. I was only a little kid when I was coming. Yeah. <laughs> but my grandmother had one at her pages. house. We don't need a new phone. Mm-hmm. The rotary works fine. Go ahead. Call your mother. <laughs> you won't finish it. <laughs> like 911 calls you. Like you're missing time. Yeah. Dial 911. Six uh, yeah. seconds. It took me to dial 911. Nine's all the way up there. Yep. 
It took forever to dial the fucking phone. Yeah. Stylish, though. Yeah. Um, but they come back. I bet rotary phones come back. You watch. Uh, One day. This is going to be a hipster thing. Yeah. I can see. Like an asshole with a, type, with a fucking typewriter in the yeah. fucking train. You can see it. <laughs> rotary <laughs> phone. Rotary phone in his house. Oh, look. I got a rotary phone from 1973. Oh, my God. A... <laughs> typewriter on the train. Oh, yeah, I've seen it. It happened. <laughs> oh, God. It was on the internet, so you know it's true. Oh, all right. <laughs> uh, so, uh, well, what what happens? He meets that with scene? Uh, class ends, and he sees the because the principal was guest was the guest in the class. And oh, yeah. by the way, the teacher in that class and the principal. Oh yeah, they got the hots got, for each other. They got the hots for each other, and it's very You're telling obvious. me, Miss Pumpernickel obvious. Nickel has the hots for me. <laughs> so, uh, what's her name? I don't fucking know what her name is. Burnfart. Burnhart. Burnhart. It's Burnhart. Someone makes someone says Burnfart. Yeah. <laughs> the guy, Damn, one, one of the leftover cast members from fucking uh, Joysticks. Yeah, Vidiot. It's yeah, Vidiot. King Vidiot. King Vidiot's in it. Yeah. Uh, he meets the principal outside the class, and he wants to take a look at the lab or something. But he says, "Oh, he oh, can't come." Oh, because he's growing his orchids. Yes. Which he wants to which, beat his ex-wife and get that blue ribbon. Hiding the pot plants. So yeah. Genius plan. Oh, uh, I got to clean up the classroom first because it's a mess. And it is a mess because he had the lab accident and just, just went home afterwards. Yep. So I think he he goes to clean it up. Or no, no, uh, no, no the no. teacher is sus- suspect. The He's got to test his power now. And how does oh. one test one's power? You open up Heather Thomas's shirt. <laughs> That's what you do in front of her boyfriend. You know? And everyone like was in joy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, Scott Bay is like, wow, we, <laughs> <laughs> <You know>? wow. <laughs> uh, and I think everyone in the fucking like, theaters thought the same thing. <laughs> wow. <laughs> her boyfriend's like, what are you, some kind of pervert? <laughs> to her, because her dress yeah. came or her blouse came off. You ever do that again, except for when we're alone together? <laughs> I don't know what did he finish that with. Maggie said, I'm going to bust your lip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, so, so, yeah, he's testing his power. Goes he, back to the lab. Goes back to the lab afterward, and uh, Bernadette. Who is our uh, peeping through the window? Is spying on him. Sees that he's he's moving beakers around and doing all sorts of experiments. You know, catches him. Hmm. And I think Buddy Buddy catches him too at some point. He 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 know. I'm not sure when he realizes. Well, I don't remember. Basically, what happens is she goes. She sees it. Yeah. Um, and uh, confronts him about it. And uh, Buddy uh, Lembeck fucking <laughs> sees it again. Like when, or you know, he, what did he say? He said, "I think I, he saw it through the window." Is what I remember. But I, he also, when he walked in the room, I felt like he said something like that. He, uh, he, he overheard as he was walking by. Uh huh. Marijuana. I can't wait to find out how these fit into all this. Look, I have some more work to do. Can you just leave me alone, please? Barney, you can't expect to keep a thing like this to yourself. This is it. Mind over matter. The power to move things at will. Hey, Barn. I was just passing by and I couldn't help overhearing. Telekinesis, huh? Anyway, the only people that know is fucking Scott Bayo and Bernadette, Bunny Lembeck, Buddy Lembeck, and Lundbeck. fucking Bernadette. Bernadette. Yep. <laughs> exactly. And she's cutie pie. Yep. They nerded her up a little bit, but she's cute. Yeah. You can see through it. And if you don't know who. Uh, Bernadette uh, is played by Felice uh, Schatcher. I don't know how. That sounds right. I don't know. Schatcher. Schatcher. Close enough. Um, she was uh, Nancy Olsen on The Facts of Life. So like the beginning. Like I think beginning. she, yeah, she was like Bing, a. Binging episodes. Yeah. Well, she was like in the first season and I, and I think. Like, like some of them came back during the To years. do guest spots. Yeah. Yes. To kind of explain their absence and shit. Um, Go with continuity. For some reason. Shows. A lot of the movies we've done are go back to facts. Of I don't life. fucking it's like get it. Six degrees of Somebody, facts of life. Somebody's always starred these, <laughs> and we don't plan it that way. Six Not degrees that of facts of life. That's what it is. Um, and she does a good job playing a nerd. Uh, Barney goes home, uh, and this is when 
he gets grounded. Gets grounded just for yeah. coming home. He gets home. He's like, I'm going to go get a burger. You have no appetite. Yeah, you can't go anywhere. Yeah. You're staying, they yeah, fucking you're ground him. For she gives much him some no more reason. shit. Yeah. And that's when that's the puppet. That's when he, the attack the puppet. puppet comes on. You're right. And that's yeah. when he does, I think, the... Uh, well, no, yeah, that's when he does the fucking Star Trek thing. Which does... Is, it's so weird, but it's, it's weird, awesome. But it's pretty... I guess it's, yeah, All the Star cool. Trek guys have Nike symbols on. Yeah. You know, it's just, it's fucking so, cool. So, yeah, man. he shoots the pupper at her, and, you know, that'd freak anyone out. Yeah, because he broke the glass, and she heard the racket. Who are you talking? Remember, because he was going to sneak out? He put the puppet in the bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. And, and she's, who's she in that in, bed? Who's in that bed? <laughs> <laughs> you know? Who's in that bed? And then he does the thing and fucking scares the shit out of her. and um, She gets her cross. <laughs> yeah, she gets her cross. <laughs> I don't blame her. You know? And then he's, like, daydreaming again, and he takes the... Star Trek, uh, the ship, and yeah. he's like daydreaming with that, and he's flying it across the room, and it goes through the fish tank. Yeah. It goes through the fish tank, so now like he has more than telekinetic powers. He's got force he's got field a- powers oh, and whatever. Um, this guy has figured out how to move through all kinds of dimensions of space. Yes. You know? And the dog bites it. Yes. And there's a small Star Which Trek cool. scene. Like, he's it's imagining awesome. this, the people in Star Trek are on the ship. Yeah. And, like, they're like, oh, we're all, you know, like, going it's through a It's characters and yeah, shit. Yeah, it looks bad. It's the Nike, Nike yeah. slash signs on their shirts. Yeah, instead of the Star And the Trek dog thing. bites it, and then the ship, the teeth come through. Yeah. It's very cute, you yeah. know. Um, but then, that yeah, so he fucking, the, his mom comes in after that, and, like, he, he scares her with the puppet. Then he goes out. He leaves. He leaves. Um, he goes back to the lab because this is when Bernadette really tests his powers. Yeah, she comes back with... She's got um, the empty can, like yeah. gas can. Yeah, she comes back and she's got the can and then she makes him crush it with like the power. Yeah. yeah, and then empty, she the, wants to do, empty the fish tank. There's another fish tank. Yeah, she wanted to do the research with him about yeah, this, she this wants newly found really, power. Uh, and this is where he's like, Bernadette, B- B- Bernadette, you don't know anything about science. Yeah. Cause she's a girl. She, it's 1982. Oh, I love how he says that. They know nothing that, about right? science. Hi, Barney. Hi. What are you doing? What is that for? I thought we'd start by testing your power for a controlled distance on substances with different physical properties. Bernadette, you don't you don't know a thing about science. Well, I mean, you can't be the subject of your own experiment. It's one of my favorite parts of the movie. <laughs> I, I I used to walk around saying that at least twice a week. Not that I'm proud of that. It's you know it's like I said you can say anything in the '80s movie it doesn't get really yeah it won't, won't but really it's so fly. great man. putting putting women down in a just dead. just you know you don't know nothing about science you're just a girl <laughs> you don't know anything about science <laughs> couldn't possibly like, know <laughs> shot to the heart right there oh god so what happens next I don't fucking remember. <laughs> We're somehow remembering oh, the big God. baseball game. Now it's the day That's of the right. big fucking game. Oh, so it's Christ. like the last game of the year, I guess. And they're playing the Tigers. And uh, Scott Bayo Barney gets the... He, he promises one at bat, even though the team has lost every fucking game. Yeah. Now he's using his powers to fucking... like Because his friend uh, Peyton realizes he's got this power. And... You know, he's going to help hey, him out. Yeah, we're going to... Uh, he, uh, Buddy's pitching. Peyton. Yeah, can't throw a lick. So let's, you know, fuck it. Let's fuck with the game. Who, who gives a shit? The the opposite team has, like, I guess their best player. And he's like this big Mongo looking motherfucker. Yeah. Uh, like his helmet doesn't even fit him. Yeah. No one looks like they could play baseball at all. No, it's like it's really fake, bad. Fake acting baseball. It looks bad. Yeah, it's really bad. <laughs> um, And he fucking... He's, so, you know, the yeah. ball, it's like angels in the outfield. The ball's going all yeah, over the fucking place. Guys are jumping 30 feet in the air yeah. and catching balls. And, <laughs> um, so finally, like, fucking Scott Bayo's given an opportunity to bat. Finally gets his bat. Um, by the way, there's cheerleaders at the, baseball. at the baseball game. Why not? Whatever. So fucking Scott Bayo finally gets his chance to bat. He looks like fucking shit. <laughs> I mean, I think he was hung he's over batting like Mickey Tendleton, but doesn't look half as good. Um, no, there's no know? Mickey Tendleton. No, not at all. But he's got so the. You know what I mean? I think he's it might be the, the greatest baseball name ever. Yeah. As well, Mickey Fruit Loop Tendleton. <laughs> anyway, so fucking 
he um he stops the ball. He stops the ball and then clubs <laughs> it clubs and it, it goes well over 381 feet according to the sign. He like held the bat like a three year old. Yeah, more, not, exactly. Not as much as Nick Kelton. It. Like, it looked terrible. And like, you're he, looking like, at like he's never played baseball in his life, but yeah. he's on the baseball team. Yeah, and he's like, watching. You can at least the emulate what it yeah. looks like. I mean, you've been around and, enough games. You're the fucking he, statistician. I'm, I'm sure right? Scott. That's how you say it. Statistician. Statistician. And I'm sure he. I like um, my word better. I'm sure it's shorter. I'm sure Scott Bayo is somewhat the athletic kind of guy. And they make, but he's a nerd. So, and he runs very robotic. Yeah. Like, I, oh, this is how you run. Yes. I'm a nerd. They don't run yeah. very well. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, he had never run a day yes. in his life. Yes. He actually ran more like a two year old that just figured out how to like run. Like, he's just swinging his arms yeah. very awkwardly. Like, I'm trying like to balance myself. Running kind of as way. Like and flying like, what down are you the doing? hallway. Um, and he, like, considering he stopped the ball and he, and he hits a home run. You think he wouldn't hit a home? You think he he just pop it up? So he could still pop it up, even if it's like basically a ball sitting in midair. Well, he considering he's not athletic, he jacked it though. He jacked it though. He, he did. did. <laughs> Maybe. Um, well, I guess he could have projected it as well. well I'm sure, he once did. He hits but it. still, but it, yeah, he just clobbers the damn thing. He'd be playing for Harvard in no time, hitting balls like yeah. that. Harvard. He's wearing my Harvard tie. Mm. Like, yeah, sure. He's from Harvard. <laughs> he went to Harvard. <laughs> Oh sure, <laughs> like sure, sure. He went to Harvard. Oh, well, that's a back fan. to the movie. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> that was brought to you by Trading Places. Uh, oh man. Uh, so the, the busy... principal is really they they win the game, obviously. Yeah, but and he's the hero, and, and so is fucking buddy, because um, he threw like a perfect game after, after the first inning or whatever, um, and. So the principal really wants to get in to see his orchids. It's been difficult. Uh, he's changed the key and everything. The, yeah, the, the, uh, or changed yeah, the lock. Barney's changed the lock, so no one can get in. Yeah, except for him. So, so no one can get in. Uh, the teacher that's obsessed the busy with the body principal. Teacher, yeah, crawls through the window. She finds the pot plants behind the orchids. So now she's, uh, you know, wants you know, obviously, oh, it's big, it's big scandal. So yeah. she's gonna go tell the principal, get him in trouble. So they both crawl in. And uh, I th- at some point, Barney noticed him and Bernadette are walking, and they noticed a uh, woman teacher crawling her legs, crawling through the window, so they know yeah. it's up. So when she leaves, they get rid of the pot plants, and they're burning them in the furnace. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, well, she, she does get the principal to get gets, in. Yeah. Meanwhile, but they're gone. Meanwhile, while they're yeah. doing that, she brings uh, the principal in. And like, what the hell are you talking about? You know, there's nothing yeah, here. I think you smoked something. Yeah, yeah. I think you smoked it. You yeah, said something like that. So Barney and Bernadette are fucking burning all the pot burning plants, all the pot in and the they're gone. Boiler room. Uh, uh, fucking Scatman Scat Crothers, because he walks by and he th- overhears them to like. It sounds like they're having sex. Yeah. The, the, Barney, the, it's the, not gonna fit. Yeah, do it harder and quicker. Faster. We gotta get out of here. Yeah. Like, so he comes in. They leave. He fucking smells something. He opens he up opens the furnace, up. gets hit with fucking smoke. Gets hot boxed. <laughs> Next thing you know, he's hanging out with fucking Albert Einstein. Yeah, he's in a big uh, pot yeah. hallucination. You know, he's still pissed off, like furious that his wife is not letting him yeah, eat he's salami. Hot. like too many chili dogs, Dex. Have to learn to relax. Chili dogs are what I need to relax. Salami too. But my old lady won't let me have. I ride a bike to relax, Dex. Hanging out with Einstein and then they're riding bikes. Yeah. Riding bikes. His wife oh. is on a fucking chariot behind him with a bazooka that shoots salamis. Yeah, it's pretty fucking entertaining. Yeah. <laughs> There's some trippy scene where they're shooting through a door at a mountain. And they're just riding a bike, getting away from his uh, wife. With and cartoon and salamis. Salamis exploding at him. Exploding next to him yeah. while he's riding his bicycle. <laughs> it's fa- it's fucking fantastic. There's a stuntman for Einstein at some point. And yeah, he's got a there's bad, some bad like, wigs. There's there's whatever, Einstein man. and he looks okay. And yeah. then there's like a far away shot yeah. of Einstein. And he's got a really bad wig. Yeah, and it's like wait wait what what's going on? And here? the whole thing. Why the hell is it's fucking ridiculous, but it's brilliant. 
Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's brilliant. The, this, this movie is It's one of the things that I love about <laughs> yes. it. It's, go, yes. it's so outrageous. It's a campiness, I suppose. Oh, it's great. But it's great. It it's is fucking good. great. Um, so, following that, um, you know, it's one. Too many chili dogs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> fucking loves chili My dogs. My wife won't let me have salami. No. <laughs> or too many chili dogs. I can't live without salami. Um, so the, then after that, the next day, the, it's seniors, like the senior seniors trip day out. and they go to like magic kingdom or magic something, land. magic land, magic land. Um, and they're riding roller coasters and Heather Thomas, yeah, Heather Thomas goes out with a college guy that, and buddy Lembeck is just trying so, to slay her the whole time. Pretty much. Yeah. He's a, he's a real ladies man in this movie. Yeah. He's just hanging around the pool, chasing the muff around, <laughs> you know, and, um, so Heather Thomas's boyfriend, Buddy Lembeck, does not like. He, this guy gets the shit under the stick the whole movie. Yeah, I actually do feel it's, somewhat it's, bad for him. Well, someone's got to be. The, he gets someone's got to get it. Yeah, he does. Yeah, but he wasn't funny, that though. terrible. No, no, not really. Actually, no, he wasn't he like was the worst a guy. guy the He's more like, or less. Yeah. That, like if someone's trying to creep on your girl, you'd be kind of pissed. And Buddy Lembeck is just like ruthless. He's man. a jerk. I like Buddy. Buddy's really the jerk in yeah. anything. He's a terrible person, but I love him. He's oh, great, he's in, this great movie. in this movie. Yeah, he's, he is. He's the photographer taking pictures and, and of again, girls. Every photographer in eighties movies is a creep. Oh, they're all creeps. Except, except you know, they're good looking in eighties movies. And in real life, they're like just creep, yeah. ugly looking guys, probably. Yeah, <laughs> like you know, like the, it's like the cliche. They're just taking pictures of butts and boobs, and yeah. like that's kind of his. his what he's been doing. <laughs> yeah, the whole time. Because remember, he also hooked up with the fucking, uh, the secretary. Oh, Buddy Lembeck's hooking up with part. the secretary. Second up, yeah. So, yeah. Oh, you won't a... forget me when you go with those college girls. <laughs> yeah. She's like some... Oh, but Corinne, you know, two, your love is older. A, your love is a gift I can you never forsake. He has two dates to the prom and he's banging the secretary yeah. at the school. <laughs> this dude's the man. He shows up with he a really cane, is. gloves. He really is. Um, so... He's at the, um, it, you know, he's he's hit on Heather Thomas a shitload of times in this movie. Uh, so it, uh, in this movie, her name is Jane, by the way. Yes, Heather uh, Thomas. But uh, anyway, uh, Scott Bay was helping him basically win prizes. Yeah, the, the carnival prize are like impossible to win. Yeah, like, and, like the quarters on a plate. Yeah, and shit. so he's nailing everything. He's impressing her. He's winning all the prizes. So you know, yeah. you know getting on her she good loves side. Pink, by she, the way. she hates him. Yeah, she doesn't like he's him. Dirtbag. And her boyfriend's she's taking her to Hawaii or some nonsense. Yeah, she's a real gold digger in this movie, yeah, Heather Thomas. Her boyfriend's in college pre law in a frat. Yeah. Preppy. She's a you know, that's kinda yeah, he's very preppy. Polo shirts. She's the gold digger. They're really the they're probably really the villains in this movie. Yeah. To, to some point. They're really even no she, villain. Even though she's not that mean. There's just anything, people but... kinda like you know, there's the teacher, there's the girl, uh Heather Thomas and the guy. And and her mom and his mom are kind of the only like, not really villains, but they're just kind of like yeah trying to interrupt honestly Barney and his friends. And th- their, this and what is they're what doing. this movie was. When I think about it, it's they take a it it's a it's a Disney's Kurt Russell movie, but just rated R. Well, yeah, and they they kind of just that, took the Kerry movie but made it yeah. a fun sex comedy and Taxi Driver, and yeah. they took like a lot of things. From they that. took the it, it, they took. Yeah, but yeah. it's a fun sex carry, yeah. uh, carry the slasher movie or uh, a I, horror movie. I can almost see somebody laying around being saying, fun. Like, what if we made the computer wears tennis shoes, but like rated R? <laughs> I could see them saying something That's, like that. Yeah, you know it's basically I mean? yeah, it's 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 it really is a sex comedy carry. Yeah, and I like like I like this better than carry. And Ca- oh, I like carry. Carry's a downer. This is, yeah, this is a fun movie. This is, you know, now, a popcorn. I movie. think Carrie's a, a well-made movie. No, I, I, I no disrespect to Carrie. No, I like Carrie. I like, like Carrie, it a lot. Carrie a lot, but I just but I, I enjoy this. I'll movie watch more. Carrie. Carrie, yes. like once every five years. Maybe, I'll watch this. Like, yeah, I'll, it's on TV every I'll fucking probably, Saturday. If it's on TV. I'll keep it. I'm keeping it on. We're, you know, matter of fact, we're doing this movie next week again. <laughs> Watching it again. Zapped again. The sequel. Oh, which is real. It's a real thing. I didn't even know there was I a know. sequel to Zap. We'll have we gotta we'll, that, do, it, we'll do it eventually. Yeah, because that'll be the sequel to this episode. <laughs> we'll even label it. We're not it doing that. it next week. We'll do it eventually. No, no, no. no. We're, we got no. something else. I need a, I need we yeah, we got we don't know what we got, but it's we don't, something. I don't know what it is. I've never seen it. I know nothing about I know, it. All I know is, is the director of Gummo. Yes. And kids. 
So I yes. already know it's... Um, that was sent to us by a friend was, of the show, was, Matthew. I already know it's going to be fucking a little haywire. Yeah. Looking forward to this. <laughs> um, so he's been betting this fucking guy the whole time uh, about, like, you know, different things, and he's winning money off of them. And then they decide that they're going to go out into the parking lot, crush a 12-pack 12 12-pack 12 each. each, and then get on the fucking teacup ride, and whoever throws up first loses. For, so of course, for hundred dollars, for hundred dollars, and Scott is a Bayo, lot of money in nineteen eighty two. Yes, it is. It's a lot of money. Yes, it is. Um, I mean, like a twelve six pack of beer is probably like a dollar to. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's an Intellivision. Jesus Christ, right? Something like that. Um, so Scott Bayo's spinning the old uh, teacups around faster for uh yeah, guy. basically making him sick. Yeah. All, I mean, they're trash. I mean, I, hell, if I drink a 12-pack in an hour, I'd be fucking wasted. Yeah. I could um, barely stand, I'd imagine. <laughs> so, yeah, and he fucking yaks and leaves. Um, and Heather Thomas says, oh, you get your money tomorrow. But now, prime time for Willie Ames. Yeah. Buddy Lundbeck. Do you want to take a break here? Sure, we could take a... Okay, small break. Yeah, small one. Uh, Miss Updike, I'm afraid we're going to have to reshoot your senior edition pictures. The first group didn't come out. Okay, Peyton. Follow me. <clears throat> you won't forget me when you're with those college girls, will you? Your love is a prize I could never forsake. <laughs> that is one of your better lines. And we're back. Uh, and we get more Heather Thomas. Yes. What a uh, way to come back from a break with Heather Thomas. She She's really a hot box of rocks, man. <laughs> she's fucking hot. <laughs> Oh, I'm in man. love with Heather Thomas. Like I, I totally forgot she's not in a whole lot of stuff. Yeah, you know what I mean. But she's gosh, she's great. It's been a long time. Uh, yeah, mean, she doesn't do who, a whole who could lot. forget Cyclone. Oh, <laughs> I mean, she was yeah. in the Fall Guy, which is kind like of everybody her remembers biggest, Twister. Nobody show. remembers Cyclone. <laughs> um, but so Cyclone, I think, it was about a motorcycle. Yeah, <laughs> I think it was actually. Uh, and then she, so Buddy Lembeck, Buddy's got her in, has been his, really his, trying to lay his uh, he's, his, his game, his meat hooks. He's got a her. good game. He got a game. He's got oh, game, man. son. Yes, he uh, does. He has got, got a got game. Son. <laughs> Did that just happen? <laughs> that just happened? He does, oh, man. God. You should take notes. Oh. Like she, uh, so they're back in Buddy's room, and he's got a really cool room. He's got like a bar. Yeah. What 18, 17 year old kids got a oh, bar yeah, and parents bar. are letting this he's happen? Got professional lighting equipment for his photography. Yeah, like like thousand dollar yeah. lights. Girl probably. pinups on his wall. He's got a fucking cupboard nice full of this condoms. Room. He's got um, a yeah a, a dartboard full of condoms. Yeah. So you know he tries to hook up with her. She's like, no, I got this boyfriend. And then he starts laying like laying on thick, laying, you with know, the lies. Yeah. Um, He's like, ah, I respect you. I would never yeah. do anything. Yeah. I have so, way too much respect to you. Yeah, that great. Yeah, that's a great line. Yeah, that's just, yeah. that's that's any you guy do? should right should say that. At some yeah, point. <laughs> I have so much respect, respect for you as a person. <laughs> I don't want you to do anything you don't want to. You don't? No. I have way too much respect for you, Jane. You do? Uh, then he starts telling her like crazy shit like that. Uh, he got into he- uh, Harvard and Yale. He doesn't know which one he wants to go to. But his dad he- wants to go to business school. Yeah, if he goes to business school, the day he starts classes, he'll get a hundred thousand dollar a year allowance. Salary. Salary. Yeah. Sa- <laughs> and, this, and this really perks up uh, oh, yeah. our gold digger Heather all Thomas sudden, here. She's all about she comes around. taking the best, taking the best meal. You know. Yeah. She's a meal. Well, who's the best meal yeah. ticket? So the, the soon to be doctor college yeah. kid or this this new new buddy Lumbeck. Yeah, with the hundred thousand dollar year salary. Does he I mean, mean who yeah. could hundred thousand dollars in eighteen eighty two is a is like fucking half a million dollars probably. A year. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. That goes really far. Exactly. I mean a brand new car back then is like is less than ten thousand dollars. you know, most cars. Yeah. 
So he um, he manages to like, you know, now she's all ready to go. He starts hooking up with her. The lights come off. The music comes on. And uh, she sees a flash. Yeah, and- he hooked up his camera. Yeah. He turned his camera on. He's probably got, he's got some kind of button where he can find. Well, he's on a timer. It. Yeah, he's on a timer, and it's taking pictures of her. And, and she's like, he's like, and, oh no, you, uh, she's getting comfortable. She's yeah. down with this. They're gonna make out, um, possibly do some other do things. Do stuff. Does he bang her? I would assume he banged her. I would say There's, so. It, it the scene cuts, but he I'm pretty sure he banged her because well he does. You find out later, later on, one of the pictures yeah. is her topless. Well, when she's, it's not really her. You can, yeah, uh, it's photoshopped or superimposed. Oh, there wasn't Photoshop back then. Her head is superimposed but, on someone else's body. So, so he, he banged her. But Buddy's not the only one having some good luck because this whole time, the whole time they're at oh. the park. Well, they're going, uh, they're showing a little montage. Yeah, of, but Scott and, and Bernadette are uh, they go to the, closer. They get the hand. Yeah, but they go to the hand. They go on a little date after the, they split up. They get hamburgers. Yeah, and then there's a little montage of them going on different dates. So yeah, like, correct. Well, or they right, go right straight to the they to get the lab. The, they get the hamburgers. Is that afterwards they go on the dates? No, like after, while well, Buddy's hooking up with um fucking Heather Thomas. Heather Thomas. Um, Scott Bayo is on like they go eat yeah. at the uh, burger stand that looks like the. The cafe from Scarface at the beginning of the movie. Yeah, it does. Um, and uh, then they go back to his house and his oh, crazy yeah, ass mother. out there. Yeah. You're right. I forgot yeah. about that. And then they call it a night. But then the next day they go on a date. I think they might just go straight to the lab because they're like, oh, no, it's. Well, remember they're rolling around in the grass and it's daytime. Okay. In the socks. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The high socks. It's, yeah. Most of this, this all this yeah. stuff happens. We're not, so, po- we're not specific on. Yeah, the, uh, the order, but it's, this is all happening in the same time frame. More despite or less. how incoherent we are, there, there's a there's a movie here. There's a story it's to be told. Hard to remember. I don't have the script in front of me. Uh, so uh, then they go to the, the the music starts playing. You start getting this this fucking great is this the great magic song? song. Yeah, if you believe in magic. Yeah. Oh, uh, it was big hit in uh, fucking the Philippines. Philippines. Um, <laughs> and. Uh, so fucking, he starts moving things in. Like now it's the, the tender moment. Things are gonna happen. Music's playing. Yeah, they go to the lab of all places because he, he wanted to take her somewhere decent, like Scatman Crothers. Scatman said. said, "Take her somewhere decent next yeah. time." He thought they were getting it on in the fucking boiler room. Yeah. So <laughs> he brings in the fucking bed. He has a bed in yeah. school somehow. Yeah. He, but he's bringing Fair it in with his mind. You know, he's moving things he's, with his yeah, mind. Yeah, he's right? doing the old mind trick. And He's bringing in this fucking bed that he lays on top of the laboratory counter, um, and then lifts her up, places her on the bed. Yeah, he lifts her up. Yeah. And you think you're going to get some hot facts of life chick action, and that's not what happens at all. You know what we get? We get some gratuitous Scott Bayo back and it's shoulders. Mostly naked Scott Bayo. Yeah, I mean his, the camera uh, is fucking the shit shoulders. out of Scott Bayo. A little disturbing. I met. Well, hey, you gotta give the girl something too. You gotta give the guy something too. I think. Well, you know, Scott Bale is. Stuff. You know, men want to be him. Girls want to be with him. Gay guys want to fuck him. Wow, that's a bumper sticker. <laughs> he is a gorgeous man. Oh my god! <laughs> you must and be looking for the gay bar. There is a still. We have a still right now in the scene selection, where it's helping us guide the movie. We we're breaking the fourth wall here, uh, and it, it. I when I first. Just put it on. I wasn't sure who the girl was. Just, look. Who? Look at Scott Bale. I thought that was a girl. I wasn't sure. Are those two girls kissing for a second? Oh, my God. <laughs> he does look a little feminine there. Oh, God. He's got so, longish hair. Now. So that happens. Yeah. And they're going. Is that afterwards? Maybe there's a date montage after this. No, no, no. He's just hooking. That scene is pretty long of him seducing is, her and is. wooing her on in the laboratory. Uh, and then the next scene after that is uh, during uh, the timeline. I think of the movie itself is a little bit confusing because because the next day that her Heather Thomas's boyfriend shows up to pay him the money. Yes, and he says like, "Oh, you, you know, they talk about it the amusement park as if it was yesterday," but that doesn't really make too much sense in the order of which the movie's shown to you. Mm-hmm. Um, but so. 
he's waiting for his girlfriend and for Buddy Lembeck so he can fucking pay him off. Yeah. Um, man of his word. Yeah, man of his word. And but he also arrange a gambling night at the fucking hey, frat. The frat has we a got a roulette, roulette table. table. Yeah, just come by. Give me a chance to win my money back. Exactly Something like that. So he fucking's like, yeah, I'll just get fucking Scott Bayo to come help me. Well, yeah, you know, because I mean, Charles helps this everybody. Is the re- uh, we want to do that scene. The 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 teacher. You know, it's kind of a throwaway scene that the teachers well, messing well, around. Um, but he but he says that fucking it's great though that one scene like when he's about to pay him off and his girlfriend comes oh, out at the like same the time as Buddy Lemon. It's like the line of the fucking this is movie. Funny. Man. Look, whatever happened last night, I faked every bit of it. Damn. That's why it was so good. That awesome. reminds me of like of a solo when when when. Uh, when Princess Leia says, I love you, and he's like, I, I know. Yeah. It's kind of like that yeah. a little bit, right? Yep. Like, yeah, I know. Buddy bitch. Limbeck I killed know. that line. I know it. <laughs> uh, yeah. And then fucking, there's some dumb shit going on with the principal. And, they have a uh, scene. Him, yeah, and, him and the the teacher go out, and they yeah, shenanigans, and shenanigans at the restaurant. Yeah, they're fucking under the table. It's yeah, just, they're messing around on the table, whatever. It was, it's, a, it, it's, it's, it's a whatever it's, scene. It's, it's a subplot it's that doesn't throwaway. make any damage. Yeah, exactly. It's just a difference. subplot. No one really cares. It doesn't. You could take it out, and the movie would be just exactly as fine. So um, they go now the you're at the fucking frat. casino casino party at the frat. Yeah, gambling away, and there's lots of college kids and hell, there's high school kids there too. They got yeah. the T Winkle. Is that the high school name? No, the um, the T-Winkle. college name is oh, the like college yeah, T Winkle. It's like col- T Winkle oh, yeah, College. There's the, the penguins. The high school. Yeah, whatever. T Winkle. So, whatever yeah. the fuck that is. They're gambling away. Bernadette is already pissed at fucking Scott Bayo for fucking using his powers for, for gambling. gambling. Like, oh, that's a great yeah. idea. What are you talking about? <laughs> totally cool. Them growing pot though. Whatever. Yeah, I guess it's fine. That's all right. Um, here's the amazing part of this. It's roulette table. There's, I believe there's 36 numbers and double zero, so it's 37. Yep. They're putting, obviously he has the power to put the ball where he wants, but they keep, it's, whether or not you believe he, no one knows he has powers and they just keep winning. So yeah. doubling, du- thir- you know, it's uh, you win 36 times what your bet is, 37 times, whatever, you know, what your bet is. And they just keep winning, and it's a rigged roulette table. Well, obviously, they, they lose think the first round. Yeah. But who would believe that you won like eight times in a row betting on a number, a different number? I don't know. It's just, it's, it's I know, luck. but it's like a fucking amazing. <laughs> well, yeah, it is. Like, I'd be, sh- who wouldn't think the people around it would think it's rigged just because of that? Well, that they're just trying to help him win. He goes on quite a streak. Fucking Scott Bale wants to get the fuck out of there. Then Scott Bale gets angry and he kind of like makes the machine break. He, he raises up the roulette yeah. table and flies in the air and breaks the yeah. table and lands on the table and breaks the table. And by the way, the nerdy guy from Critters 2 is in it. Just saying. Well, the nerdy guy from Greece. Well, he's in that too. Yeah, but most people know him from Greece. I know from Critters 2. Crit- ah, he Critters sounds like um, he's, there's a character on Dexter's Lab. Yeah. Mentor. Oh, I fucked his name up. I don't know what his name is. Yeah. I think it's his voice. It's the dorky guy. Morlock, Malak. Critters, too. Uh, someone correct me. Um, I can't think of his name. So, Mandar. Mandar. Yeah, <laughs> any, basically, so the fucking... <laughs> they crash the um, the roulette table, and then uh, Scott Bayo leaves, and Buddy Lembeck says the table's fucking rigged, and fucking they were like, everybody's like, I want my money back. Yeah, they're pissed. Yeah. They, it looks like they yeah. beat up the college. Yeah. I don't know. It, fucking, it goes the next scene, yeah. though. Scott Bayo fucking decides to go drink himself uh, into the... Uh, Gets his whiskey that's still in the lab. Yeah. Takes uh, Scatman Crothers. He's, he's depressed. Yeah, drinks his night away, sees Bernadette the next day. They make a date for the fucking prom. They go to the fucking prom, or or Scott Bale's getting ready Before, for the fucking prom. Yeah, well, he's, get, he's about to leave for the prom, Yeah, and his mom comes down with, with two, two priests. Two priests for an exorcism. Let's make fun of the exorcist. Is basically what happens. Which They feed him full of tranquilizers. It's a pretty funny scene. Yeah, projectile vomit. He yeah, they stuff pills down his throat. The fucking he the dummy spinning projectile his goddamn vomit. Head around. He makes his, he brings the dummy down and it's spinning its head and, he, and it basically comes at them and they're they're scared as fuck, which you, you should be. Yeah, I would be a little freaked the fuck out. I'm afraid he leaves and you know the dummy falls. It's a pretty funny scene, you know. I Exorcist think so. is it's it's just like today though, like you know when the Matrix came out 
Everyone did a fucking Matrix joke. Yeah. Like the fucking... The slow fighting and the jumping and the fucking nonsense. And, you know, it, the, maybe the first time was funny, but it got old. I don't know how many movies made fun of Exorcist. There and, was probably a carried. lot. I'm sure. I'm sure probably, back then, I'm sure there were a lot, too. And so, you know what? I, I know there are. I'm trope. drawing a blank on what it's they are. It's the same kind of... Yeah, I can't think of another. Oh, same you know kind what? Of trope. Actually, the trope. Th- there's a movie from the early 80s called, like, Pandemonium, and it makes fun of every horror movie ever. Yeah. At the time. Before Scary yeah. Movie. 20 years yeah. before it. <laughs> Um, Paul Rubens in it. Worth checking out, by the way. Uh, so Scott Bale gets out of the house. He's on his way to the fucking prom. Um, you and uh, Buddy Lembeck wins prom king. Uh, Heather Thomas. Heather Thomas is, wins prom queen. Um, they got to dance. Yeah, prom king and prom queen now, dance. You know, Scott Bale and and Buddy are they're still a little angry with each other, but uh, they make up. They make up. Yeah, that's like quickly, a quickly thing. Bernadette and Scott Bay are like they make sc- up, yeah, they made up already, and they're hot for yeah. each other again. So, but the, what's great is after they win the prom king and queen, and they have to do that first dance. Buddy Lembeck is like trying to like he's dancing de- with de- her, robe her on the main floor yeah, while he's everybody's really... watching. By the way, he showed up with two dates who think it's hilarious. Yeah, they love he's it. Burying so his he's got face two whores right burying his face in fucking... tits. He's very handy on her. He's got, yeah. Trying to un- tries to undress, uh, unbutton her dress from the back at some point. Resting his head on like, her hoo Holy shit, dude. Yeah. Really? This is like, you get locked up for shit like this. Yep. These Playing days. with their flippy floppies. <laughs> you know? It's fucking cool. Um, um, and sh- she's pissed. Yeah, she's pissed. Fucking her boyfriend's pissed. They're going to fight. They're going to fight. So- well, but he does give him the picture first, though. That's what starts that it. That shit is crazy, the, man. From, from this his guy's date been with her. getting screwed over this whole time. Movie. Lost all of his movie. money. They he's took, an all yeah. right guy, more or less. Yeah, he's not that bad. He's just like, fuck, you know. Like, they made him out like he's the They're like both horrible. cocky. That's the problem. Yes, yeah. yeah. Con- but he's just as bad. Yeah. But he's Honestly, worse. He's, he's worse. He's worse. He's a scumbag. He just gave him naked pictures of his girlfriend. Yeah, he's like, oh, you know what? Cheating yeah. on him. Yeah, here's naked pictures of your girlfriend. There cheating you go. with me. With me. And I got a big old smile on my face. <laughs> you know? Like, so of course he wants to fucking punch him in his face, man. So, yeah, he's about to fight. He's going to fuck Buddy up. And uh, Charles... Oh, Charles. I'm going to call him Charles in charge now. Uh, fuck it. Scott Bayo. Scott Bayo. Charles in charge. Uses his Chachi. power. He's got... He's, does he have goons with him? To well, college? he's got... Yeah. For some so, reason, not only is he a college guy at the high school prom, but he brought like two or three friends with him. Okay. Yeah. Um, Makes sense. They all like kind of get beat up. Some. Well, they try to fight him, but Scott not, Bale yeah, stops it. Stops him with his and powers. And he starts fucking, you know, he throws these guys around. She gets. The watermelon thing. At some point, she gets her whole dress ripped off by Scott Bale's well, powers. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's, then, Scott Bale loves fucking ripping her clothes off in then, this movie. Yeah. Well, who wouldn't? Yeah. I mean, then Can't she throws a uh, half a cut watermelon and, and conks Scott Bale on the head. But that's fine. He comes, but he gets really oh, pissed after that. And he gets pissed after, yeah. Okay. Yeah. He gets real and mad at that. That's when like all hell they breaks do, loose. They do the Carrie scene. Carrie, but instead of murder, fire, more like a weird murder, science fire vibe. and We're, mayhem. Yeah. It's just ripping women's clothing off. Well, ripping guys' clothing off yeah. too. He's ripping everyone's clothing off more or less yeah. in the whole fucking and prom. The whole place is getting like topless. You get to see Heather Thomas and her her <laughs> little <laughs> little undies. And we see she has a bodysuit on covering her top. Yeah. So she, she, while I, she's I covering her notice. boobs with her hands, yeah. we notice, we froze it, she has a bodysuit on, so she really doesn't have to cover anything. Which is funny, though, because we've seen this a bunch of times, and I've, I've never, never noticed, noticed that. I never noticed Never it. noticed that until we did this show. We noticed it. I noticed and something, to... and then I, I went back and froze it. And I went, oh, wow, you can definitely yeah. see it real easily. Th- that's pretty cool. The, it's very noticeable. It's awesome that. about, like, we, since we started doing this podcast, movies that... I haven't paid much. Like, I'll put on, and I don't... So you're paying a I'm lot more giving, attention uh, yeah, to the you scenes. Know what I mean? Yeah, I, I'm the same way. I never... A lot of things just kind of go by me. Yeah. I never really pay attention to... I mean, a lot of times now, you see a lot of stuff on the internet. Especially like, something oh, you already like, saw. You're kind of like... like uh, Princess Leia in um, Empire Strikes Back has a Coke nail. You know, you ever see that? No. That's a thing. And so does um, Charlie's Grandpa yeah. in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Or Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory. He's got a he's got a coke nail too. Well, how else did he get up and start dancing around? You're talking about Uncle Joe, right? Uncle Joe, yeah, mm-hmm. Uncle All Joe. That's right. Um, so anyway, <laughs> <laughs> back to the fucking. How else did he get up and start dancing, motherfucker? 
How the fuck did he pay for chocolate bar? And like, oh, we've been we've been stuck in bed for twenty fucking years. They went out without dinner or something. That's they're, how they bought him that stuck fucking. Stuck in bed for twenty years. And like, oh, free tickets to the chocolate factory. I can get up and dance and sing a pop, song. Pop, 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 pop. Oh god. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to hang out Uncle with Gene Wilder? Joe. I want to hang out with Uncle Joe and Scatman Carruthers. No, no, no. Lots of coke, lots of fucking Listen, marijuana. Uncle Joe can come hang out with Scatman Carruthers and Dan Haggerty and maybe have like a, a college night or something. But, Play roulette? Yeah. <laughs> Just playing fucking Texas Hold'em. I, yeah, I'll play some Texas Hold'em with him. Joe Pop. Watching reruns of Grizzly Adams. I imagine... Uh, the, the crazy thing about the, the out of control scene is there's two girls, I'm sure you can miss it, that are completely naked. Yeah. So Scott Bay will rip these women's underwear off as well as their oh, dress yeah. and panty. Panties, dress, bra, and panties are ripped off these yeah. two girls. The one chick runs you briefly past. Briefly see a, uh, some bush. Yeah. That one chick runs past fuck runs past fucking uh, Scatman Crothers. And oh, like, that's yeah. the best. That's a great Scatman scene. Because Scatman Crothers is there with his wife, just watching the mayhem, yeah. enjoying it. Yeah, and he's Naked loving it. High school girls. And Who this wouldn't? one chick runs right past, right him. past he's him. Like, yeah, hey, get over here. He chases her and he tries to tackle yeah, her. Yeah. And oh, and his, and his, his wife's his, hitting his wife him with the purse. Like, oh no, you don't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a great scene. Oh man, so um, the great Kerry reenactment. Exactly, it's great. Bernadette is like trying to, you know, she's movie. trying to distract him. She's like, oh, you know, fucking Charles, what are you doing, Charles? And uh, <laughs> I think she was in Charles and Charles. I hope. Been. I don't know. So she. Fu- <laughs> Charles. So she distracts him as he's like swinging a fucking fire hose around and the metal tip hits him in the hits head. Hits him in the head. Concussion. Yeah. So when he wakes up. Um, you know, everybody's gone and like Bernadette you and okay? fucking Buddy you okay, are okay, Charles? Uh, and he turns into Chad. Yeah, the and he's evil, like No. <laughs> he no, he's still Chad. Chad. He's still the evil Charles. He's still Barney. Bizarro Charles. Yeah. Um so he wakes up and feels like, Oh, I don't have my powers anymore. Which I'm assuming did he really did he, he have, either was it, was he it, either faked it or maybe he just didn't have him for a Or maybe he minutes. wanted like fucking Buddy to leave him alone. Yes, exactly. That was yeah. he basically faked it so no one else would know. So yeah. it would just be him and her, and he wouldn't get pestered anymore yeah. about um, gambling and whatever. Because do, do, honestly, basically, Buddy has all the ideas. Hey, we should go do this. Yeah. We should go Which, do by that. the way, Buddy's ideas this. are fucking perfectly no, the, sound ideas. Honestly, you get superpowers. Let's go I'm make some fucking money, doing man. doing these things. It's a great idea. Exactly. They're good ideas for 17-year-old boys. I know. They'd probably be even worse. If I had this power, me and you'd be going to Atlantic City, and we'd just That's fucking... make your money. Yeah, That's and then we'd have the ability judging you. to sit home all day and just <laughs> do like five episodes a week. <laughs> I'd love to do that. Right? Every day, you come over, watch a movie, we'll do a yeah. fucking show. That's Especially, fine with me. Yeah. Like, if I'm financially secure, that's what I'd be doing. Exactly. Just talk to fucking... It'd be my dream job. Yeah. With, like, the be, five would, fucking it. listeners we got just listening to Hey, us. I'll take five yeah. listeners. Five people like to listen, let's go with me. That's that's perfectly fine. We, we got to grow the show a little bit at a time. You know, that's how it is. If they, you know, I'm, I like doing it. The so five guys we're gonna that, be doing that it for don't a while, think we're either absolute way. losers. We'll be doing it for a while. They're listening. Yeah. So we'll be doing this for a while. Be, you know, misery loves company. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking Buddy's on his way. You know, uh, him and... Charles are friends again. And uh, Charles is walking outside with Bernadette. And uh, he offers her like a lift home. Let me give you a lift home. Yeah. And sure. all of a sudden he's in the Wonka Vader. He's going up ways. He's going sideways. He's going diagonal ways. <laughs> they uh, fly away. They fly away. Movie ends. Barney. Barney. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this fucking movie is just, it, you know what, man? It's just, it's a perfect 80s movie. 
Um, and yeah, I'm, and I it don't really mean, is a fun 80s movie. It's a funny... It's, it, it's, it's a, a good 80s right, listen, movie. It's not like... All right, Ferris Bueller, great 80s movie, no, right? No, really. A, great. Outstanding. But on a much this grander is a, scale. This is obviously but cheaper. It, yes. Um, this tier of movie, it, it's like creme to the it's creme. It's spoofing <laughs> a little stuff, but it's... It's honestly it's a oh, solid, it's a good movie, solid man. '80s movie. I love it. You can't go wrong with this. No. I'm sure it was rented millions of times in, yeah. in the '80s. Yeah, I mean, your... we don't know what the budget was, but it grossed over 16 million dollars, and yeah. I think that's just I just I think that's just theater sales. Yeah. Oh yeah, probably. Um, I'm sure theater releases are a lot smaller than two, but it's a fun but movie. It's million, great, but, fun listen, sex comedy. This movie can make 16 million dollars because I guarantee you it did this not movie cost would 16 make a million. Shit load more money now if if um, something similar came out and it was brand new. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. If the money was the same way it was, I mean, like honestly, money now was then. It, this movie's good enough. Scott Bay would be a fucking multi. And that's what I don't get because this movie was 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 decent enough, and I'm sure teenagers li- liked it. Yeah. So. He doesn't do he another doesn't sex do, comedy after this. He doesn't do a movie for like five years yeah. after this. I mean, Jesus he, Christ. He, he, he was the Patrick much, Dempsey of his day. We were the same time anyway, Patrick well, Dempsey. Pat, yeah, but he's a little, a couple years younger, I would guess. Yeah, I guess a little um, bit. He was in Meatballs 3. Why isn't Scott Bayo in, uh, Bayo in uh, Can't Buy Me Love or fucking... I don't know. Uh, what's the I, other one where he's a fucking pizza like, delivery guy? Is it Can't Buy Me? No, it's not. Uh, can't Buy Me um, Love, he's in high school. Yeah, where he's, the pe- where he's fucking all the women. I can't remember the name Lover of Boy. It. Lover, Lover Boy. Boy. That's what it is. Um, he, I, think he, I think he got really comfortable in Charles in Charge, because that came two years later. Well, he did over 100 episodes. It ran six seasons, 84 yeah. to 90, and he's just getting a paycheck, and he's running through bitches in Hollywood. Yeah. He's fucking the This hot- guy plowed everybody. He's fucking the hottest girls at the fucking Playboy Mansion, Nicole basically. Nicole Eggert. Toll Eggert. Pamela Anderson. Possibly Heather Thomas. Heather, We're not Lo- sure. Heather Locklear. Yes, I think Heather Thomas. Uh, may, I think maybe Buddy fucked her. I don't think. I don't think Scott Bayo did. I um, think if anything, she might have been a stuck up bitch, and she probably was like, "I ain't doing that." She probably. She's got- like, "I want the bad boy from Happy Days." <laughs> <laughs> I want me some chachi in my Funny life. Lembeck. Um, and of course, you know, uh, I imagine they're good friends. Maybe not anymore, but they were back then. Yeah. Uh, Willie Ames and Scott Baio, because they uh, they jump in the Charles and Charles together after this movie. Were yeah. they in something else before this? I don't point? think so, man. I get, they had pretty good chemistry together, I'd imagine. It was all right. They seemed like friends, you know? I, was, no, uh, well, I mean... I liked them as Scott a duo. Scott Baio's quoted as saying that he really liked working with him, so... They were a good duo in the movie, you know, yeah, as friends. No, they were, they were believable, man. I mean, as, as unbelievable a movie it is, the, the well, friendship I mean, was and they're really good in Charles in Charge, I always thought. Um, so I thought this was a fine, fine film. But he's one of the um, great dummies of TV. Yeah. You know, like... Uh, Great dummies from TV, I gotta say. Like a Ro- Rose from the Golden Girls is great. Yep. Um, Joey from Friends. Suzanne Summers, Three's Company. Yeah, and Buddy. Buddy Christina from fucking, Applegate. Buddy from Married Charles. Yeah, Buddy from Charles and Charles. Christina Applegate's on that list. Yeah, yeah fucking. Um, some good. I love so the, is, I love, uh, everyone loves a dummy in a fucking show. Uh, a good show. And, and what was unique about um, a show like Married with Children, though, with Christina Applegate, she was not the only dummy on that show. We had two dummies. I mean, everybody was a, a victim. We had three dummies, actually, if you thought about it. You've got Al's wife. Nah, not really. She's kind of a dummy. No, she don't play the dummy, dummy role. Yeah. It was two dummies. Lo- f- all right, loosely, she's the dummy. How about that? Nah, man. Sometime dummy? I disagree. How is she, she not a fucking idiot? She's no, because... Awful. She, no, she wasn't the dummy, dummy. Like, when they don't... Like, they come up when they say something absolutely stupid. She was the counterpart to Al. Like, if... She he'd say something to her and he and she'd get him back. I wouldn't call her a, a dummy character. All right, fine. The only show I could think of had two dummies was Friends because it had Phoebe and Joey. I don't know if there's another show with two dummies. Well, you've got fucking <laughs> that's true, but you've got um, like a true dummy character. Well, you've got Christina Applegate and fucking uh, Marcy's husband. Who's a, oh well, yeah, 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 sort of, but he's more the pretty boy, flamboyant guy. Yeah, I wouldn't call him a dummy. She's the dummy. Well, she's the premier dummy of the show. She is. Yeah, you know, the, everyone else is is considered normal intelligence at least for the most part. Um, but yeah, that's fucking zapped. What happened to Scott Bayo's career? Why Nothing. did it take off? I mean, yes, he got this great show afterwards, 
But I'd imagine that he, I mean, like I said, a lot. Scott Bayo is a popular guy. Most people liked him. Everyone likes Scott Bayo. Yeah. He's... Everyone loved Charles in Charge. A great show. Yeah. He it's very guest starred on Full House. It's not like the most terrific show, but hell, I watched the hell out of reruns. I like the theme song a lot. Oh, it's great theme song. Great, great, great theme song. <laughs> great theme song. <laughs> Got a fucking stick in my mouth. <laughs> uh, um, it's up there in theme. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Theme songs. Um, let me say, oh, I'm alive. Tagline for this movie wasn't so great. No, it's a bad one. Yeah. It's a bad They're getting bad a little one. behind in their classwork. They're barely in school. Yeah. Whatever. They, Even they, when they're, they're in school, they're doing whatever they want. The guy's got his own private it's, laboratory. It's a, yeah, I know, right? It's a pretty cheap movie, so the cheap writers. I don't know. You can see the strings. You can see the strings but all, that all the time. It doesn't matter, though. You know? Movie still works well. Um, it achieves things that most uh, most of uh, of uh, similar movies don't. You know, I like the director. Um, is uh, Robert J. Rosenthal, and he did the van. The van. Remember the van with Danny DeVito. Remember know. the movie with all the fucking vans. Oh, I thought it was called Vans. Yeah, well, the van. Yeah. And pom pom girls, that like, that like, Malibu um, Beach. It's like a uh, movie. Th- uh, what's it called? Um, like a grindhouse kind of movie. Well, yeah, it's always on like those sets. Like it's just a low B movie. A, B movie. Yeah. yeah. But seventies B movie. Like double feature at a drive-in. Yeah. Kind of movie. I have Vans. it on two different sets. We watched a, Vans, yeah. right? I have that big fucking that big clam box shell. Yeah. Cindy and Donna. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. If, I don't know if we can do B movies. I don't. This no, no. this is kind of a B movie esque, but it, a good in theaters. A really good. If it's in theaters, it's a good B movie. You know, it's it, yeah. you know, it's cheaply done. It's done pretty well for being cheap. It's it's a solid movie, especially for the budget. If you haven't, we seen don't know, zapped, but I'm, no go, way, it's a lot of go money. Go watch Zapped. Get zapped by the amazing. No, you should definitely see this uncut. So you probably have to go get it. Yeah, maybe it's on Netflix. I'm not sure. I don't know, dude. You can buy this. I I, I think I pay like nine bucks for this DVD. I don't remember. I got it when the day it was released. I think I was on like a pre order list. Um, I, it's on VHS. It's on CED. What the hell is CED? That's the one where you like load it into the fucking. Uh, the oh, player. it's like a, car- it's like a cassette yeah. tape almost. Yeah, kind of like the fucking uh, the ghost trap and Ghostbusters. <laughs> the ghost trap. Yeah. The hell was it called? The containment Center, whatever. And the uh, whole movie's free on YouTube. Is it? Are you sure? Yeah, it's yeah. hour and 38 minutes showing here. Which is right. pretty fucking cool. There's a lot of free movies on YouTube. Well, yeah. Almost every move, everything we've mentioned on here, I think, has been free on YouTube, yeah. which is pretty amazing, to tell you the truth. What episode is this, anyways? Is this 15? Are we in episode 15? I think so. I think so. Episode yes. 15. Yes. Visio Rangers podcast. Oh, wow. It really is. This is the whole fucking movie. Yeah. I'm sure it's uncut, too. It's pretty cool. So, um, what are we, what are we watching next week? Um, we'll tease it. We're going to tease it here. I wasn't going to read the back, but then Mike said I probably should because my... We I don't were, know what it's about. We were going to predict what it was about because yeah. we were just looking at the cover. Because our, our friend of the from show... from the guy yeah. who made Gummo and Kids. Yeah. Friend of the show, Matt, sent it to us along with that picture of Glass Joe. So before I read the back, my prediction, just looking at the front, which Mike laughed at and thought was terrible. I think the picture's scary, man. Which is... My prediction's wrong since I've read the back, but I was going to say... It was sad. There was gonna be well, there was gonna be a scene with maybe some kind of child rape. That's terrible. I don't know why. Why do I you just, think that? Because it's Ju- the movie's called Julian Donkey Boy, and I thought maybe Donkey Boy was gonna be some kind of code word for something. I have. So, so that's what you think the movie's about? It's not. What, what, you, what is before, the actual movie? Of, is it, here's, what is it about? Here's just the background. It's a fascinating journey into the mind of an adolescent schizophrenic. Watches Julian's internal struggle increases, intensifies until the film's shocking and bizarrely transcendent conclusion. So I imagine there are going to be a lot of what the fuck scenes in here. Yeah. Well, I've seen Gummo and I've seen Kids. I've seen both too. 
I have not seen this movie, and I've not seen Trash Humpers either. No, I've we, seen either we, of them. Which I hear is delightful. I'm sure it's just um, as crazy. Yeah, so I'm going into this totally blind. I don't I don't even know if I'm going to watch a trailer. I'm not. No, I'm not going to watch Because I, I really want to... You know how awesome it was when you are a kid, and these movies came out, and you rented them, and you had no idea what they were about? Yeah. And, you just rented them based off of because now who ev- was in the movie. every fucking movie's ruined. Yeah, because you see the trailer. Yeah, like com- and they give so much away. Yeah, where they the really poster do. at one time kind of sold you on a movie. Sometimes that's all you had to go with. Yeah. What oh oh that looks like that might happen yeah. and that might happen and you just had your mind to run it through it. Now yeah. you know you always know what the fuck's gonna happen. Like when terrible. I was a kid, it, it really ruins the fucking experience. When I was a kid, I used to go to the movie theater, and I would walk down the aisles, and they would have all the, you know, coming soon posters, Mm -hmm. you know, and I strolled upon Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. Yeah, the second one? I lost my goddamn mind. Oh, yeah, man. I love the first one. Now, (coughs) didn't work out so well. I had Um, a choice between watching Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure or Gleaming the Cube when I was... I guess eight years old. Yeah. Seven years old. Did we talk about this? I think I've told you this story before. Yeah. And I fucking watched, uh, we, we picked Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Sat in the no. front row because I'm fucking seven. And that's what you do. You're not wrong that. for picking that movie. However, better than Gleaming the Cube. It is. I like Gleaming the Cube. Gleaming the Cube's a good movie, it's though. More entertaining. Skateboards. Huge at the time. Which we could, we might do Gleaming the Cube. Oh, we have they? to. We'll see. I fucking love that movie. <laughs> The other movie I had a choice of was um, The Great Outdoors or Roger Rabbit. Which one did you see? We picked Great Outdoors when I was a kid. Um, Which was, I'm shocked. I think about it now. And yeah. like as a kid, like, wow, I really picked Great Outdoors over Roger Rabbit. A car- but you, had, you know what you I mean? Know, but I... You honestly, had older brothers, though, man. Well, it's different. Honest, I was with... I was with when I saw it, I was with a friend with like his parents. Yeah. And like it was like, oh, what do you want to see? This or this? And that's what we picked. I really liked John Candy as a kid, though. Yeah. So that probably had a lot to do with it. Well, who didn't but like Ken I don't Candy? Like, you know, I think it, I'm, I'm trying to remember back. I think I thought Roger Rabbit was just a stupid character when I was a kid. Like, I yeah. really liked Bugs Bunny and the Looney Tunes. And I thought he was like a ripoff. And it, he sounded annoying to me because the, there was a lot of trailers. Yeah, but you missed out was, on he, Jessica Rabbit. <laughs> I did. Well, I saw it later, and it's and Roger Rabbit is of like a masterpiece to a degree. It's At least very, you got to find out what movie. a spin cycle but was. Honestly, I really, I mean, fucking, I, there's two great movies. Yeah, pretty much. I, I really. You like would have won outdoors. either way. Honestly, I think I like, I like Great Outdoors better than Roger Rabbit. Oh, like, I do. Just watch. I do. In general, I do. Yes. I have more fun watching it. No, because and uh, Great Outdoors just is awesome. Yes, it's yeah. it's. I just, I'm still a big John yeah. Candy fan. So, and if you don't believe so. You you just wait a a hot shit minute. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Um, So, yeah, fucking we don't know what this is going to... Julian, Donkey Boy, next week on the Video Rangers podcast. (laughs) It's just... Oh, God. Yeah. um... You know what I think? He was once a former champion of the great TV show Nickelodeon Guts. He won his piece of the aggro crag... But then what? he got really addicted to donuts. Uh huh. He became overweight, and his mother said that he, his room was so dirty that he lived in a barn. Um, and he became Donkey Boy. There's a little surprise in the, inside the DVD. I haven't opened it since we got it in the mail from Matt. What's in the CD? Um, What's the movie's the here. There's also some other CD. It says Ken Park with the K backwards. And it says D-I-R, so I think directed by Larry Clark with the K backwards. I don't know what this is. Wow. Uh, I don't so know we if just Matt, did an unboxing. I don't know if Matt intended to send this. Yeah. It might have been accidentally in there. I wonder if it's a porn. That's what my... <laughs> I hope, Matt, did you send us a porn of yourself? What if, what if, should we watch this now? I don't know. If I want to tell see... us not to. No, don't, no. don't put it in. No. <laughs> don't watch that. I'm a little terrified now. What his, could it be? His wife is pretty cute. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we won't watch it. I don't know what it is. Is Ken Park the Asian guy from uh, like The Hangover? I have no idea. I, his right. name is Ken, Doctor Ken. There's a show. No. I, I don't think it's a porn. I doubt I, it's a porn. <laughs> but maybe that's Matt's uh, fake name is Larry <laughs> Larry Clark. <laughs> that's his porn. This name? is a complete surprise. That's his I, porn we, name? I, like I really, Clark? I really have not. 
See, like I opened it up. I didn't open it the whole time. You look like you just found a golden ticket. I, I this is kind of amazing. <laughs> oh, I'm like, what? What the hell is this? Holy shit! You, what did you send us? You look like you just came home with with like the uh, inter inter. I feel like I just found like a Michael Jordan rookie in like my, oh, yeah. my, my like a box of cards. You did Michael Jordan you know what I mean? baseball rookie card. Like, oh shit! Stadium events. Oh, I yeah. found stadium events in like a, a in a garage sale. Yeah. Stay. What did you send us, Matt? Oh. Do you know what this is? He told me something uh, did yes- he, did yesterday. Did you something? No. I, you know what? I think that might have been in, in the letter he sent, but... I got you know, the letter somewhere. We drink a lot of beer when we're recording this, so... <laughs> I don't remember anything. You getting the letter? I don't know. I don't remember him is mentioning it in the this. letter? I don't think so. Well, it probably is. Anybody that can put that much detail into a fucking glass Joe... Oh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Also, this is a copy of Ken Park directed by Larry Clark for a long tied band. Uh, his right U.S. Okay, so this was meant to be in here. Never mind. I'm not. I can't read some of his writing. That was meant to be in there. It's not a porn of him and his wife. Okay. <laughs> Damn. Oh, wait, wait. Did I say that out loud? Oh boy. <laughs> Hope your wife does not listen. To this. Um. All right, so never mind. We'll have to watch that soon too. But yeah, next week, Julian Donkey Boy. We do not know what the fuck we. I don't know watching. what's going. What's going to happen? If you would like us to watch a movie, uh, uh, you like the contact the video arrangements. Yeah, you can. Where meet can us they contact us at? Uh, well, you can find us, Mike. On, yeah, thank you. <laughs> uh, you can find us on Facebook um, at Video Rangers. Uh, you can find us on Twitter at Video Rangers Podcast, I believe. Okay. I think that's what it is. Uh, you can find us on um, Instagram at Video Rangers Podcast. Um, yeah, we do have a YouTube. Uh, we, oh yeah, Video Rangers Podcast you on can, YouTube. There is a. We stopped doing videos because we really don't have great equipment for videotaping the podcast right now. So we figured it wasn't the better experience is the audio version. Mm-hmm. But the auto version, uh, excuse me, the audio versions will be put up on YouTube as well, so you can just listen there if you want. And, um, yeah, you can find us on iTunes. You can find us on Google Play. Um, okay. Yeah. I mean, That's you know, if it. you like us, leave a yeah. comment. If you hate us, leave a comment. I don't Say, care. You know, hey, you want to put a review? Yeah. Give us some Give us some uh, media. I, I love for somebody to be like, you guys fucking suck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, someone says something about us. Eat a Fuck you dick. too, motherfucker. No, but yeah, okay, that's cool. You know, it's gonna be funny. Like, so we like, man, I like Chris, but Mike's a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting for uh, that. Oh, uh, that guy's so annoying. He thinks he I knows everything. It. Yeah, he be buys nice. every movie ever come out. <laughs> Such a douche. <laughs> Plays retro video that games. That would be my dream. I want to get internet a uh, uh, hate mail. Yeah, <laughs> you want to be like the heel, like from wrestling. You're like Jake the Snake Roberts. The crackhead. Yeah. Fantastic uh, wrestler, though. Used to love Jake his spandex pants. Roberts. He always had interesting pants. They're yeah. like LuLaRoe pants. He had his own show. He had like yoga yeah, the pants snake, before the snake they were pit. cool. Like LuLaRoe pants now yeah. he's got. These really, those are tw- I'm fucking 20, fat pants. 30 years before they were cool. Uh. <laughs> For women. <laughs> <laughs> you got anything else? I don't got anything. How much? Uh, how long has this been? Oh, we're at an hour and eighteen minutes. I think we can end here. Yeah, it's been. I don't want to go too far. We'd be two parter then. Yeah, two parter. <laughs> we're a double two, album. Two parter album. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, if if you have not seen Zapped, I, I highly recommend that you go see it. And if you have seen Zapped, watch it again. <laughs> yes, I'm awesome. sure we just uh, just got it in Very your memory good. again. Yeah, man. Uh, again, hey, if you want to send us a line, say, tell us like you like the show, tell us you hate the show. Go ahead and find us. We're there. Yeah, we'll, we'll read it. And I'll, we sh- I'll shake my fist. Damn it! Damn yeah. you! Say Damn those you, ter- Cal- terrible North words Carolina. about me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I already knew I sucked. My wife <laughs> told me oh, already. Yeah. Oh, I bet she did. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Mike. Oh, man. <laughs> All right. Mike's wife is a Spanish woman from international water. Yes. Oh, Mike, please. <laughs> please. Oh, cook for me. That's funny. So, uh, yeah. 
you've uh, seen a bad movie. We're ready to believe you. Goodbye. <laughs> tricks on me where's that quiet kid i used to be not long ago one i used to know suddenly i feel so strange magically my whole life has been changed turned inside out and it makes me want to shout here i am take a look at me i'm high as a kite and i'm twice as free like a dream that was meant to be This time it's mine And I'm not running away like I did before I'm not gonna hide from it anymore I'm gonna find what I'm looking for This time it's mine Now that I've got my shot And I'm coming to get what you got If you're ready or not I'm more exploding clothes for the telekinetic kid You'll just have to do it with your own two hands